Number 10. Elephants. We start our journey with a fitting animal, the African elephant. These graceful creatures are the largest living terrestrial animals. Some specimens of the African bush elephant have been weighed at around 13,000 pounds. For comparison, the brand new Ford F-350 weighs in at a measly 7,000 pounds, or about half the weight. Elephants can be found from the dense forests of South and Central Africa to the barren deserts of the West. There are considered to be two different species living in Africa, the bush elephant and the forest elephant. The forest elephant is about half the size and can only be found in the Congo Basin. Fossil records indicate that there has been around 300 species of elephants roaming planet Earth for the past 55 million years. And nowadays, the African elephant can live to be 70 years old. Even though these animals have survived millions of years, their conservation status is considered vulnerable. Apart from being the biggest creatures on land, these animals create tight social circles. They're known to hug one another using the trunks and are even believed to pay respects to deceased elephants in their group. Number nine, rhinos. The rhino's horn is one of the most iconic images from the animal kingdom. There are actually five species of rhino, two African and three Asian. The white rhino of Africa is the largest of the species, weighing over 7,700 pounds. It's the largest land mammal after the African elephant. Rhinos can grow to be 11 feet long and six feet tall. Rhinos are usually found in the savannas of Africa, to the dense forests of Asia, in tropical to subtropical regions. The white rhino usually lives in South Africa. The black rhino tends to inhabit Southern and Western Africa. While smaller, the black rhino can still grow to over 3,000 pounds. Rhinos are part of a family called parasodactyls, but opinion is divided on just how those animals evolved. One theory suggests they first appeared in India some 55 million years ago. Rhinos can live up to 45 years old, but sadly today, all rhino species are considered endangered. The black rhino critically so, due to demand for its horn. Despite the mass, rhinos can run at up to speeds of 40 miles per hour and are excellent swimmers. Number eight, zebras. Zebras are closely related to horses and donkeys and share the same genus, Equus. They're known for their trademark stripes and are generally thought to have brown or black stripes over white coats. Under those white coats, they actually have black skin. They can weigh over 800 pounds and stand just under five feet tall, measured from hoof to shoulder. All species of zebra live in Africa, but each has its own area to call home. Namibia, Angola, and South Africa is home to the mountain zebra. Plain zebras stay in southern and eastern Africa in the woodlands and grasslands. The biggest species, the gravy zebra, lives in northern Kenya and Ethiopia. That species can weigh over 900 pounds and stands around 5 feet tall. It's believed that zebras evolved within the past 4 million years among old world horses. They've been hunted for meat and for their skins, a practice that continues today. While the plain zebra is not endangered, the mountain zebra is vulnerable, while the gravy species is considered endangered. The zebra stripes can serve as camouflage, making it difficult for predators to determine how many animals are gathered together. Did you know, a zebra stripe pattern is unique to that individual animal. Just as no two human fingerprints are identical, no two stripe patterns are alike. Number seven. South African penguin. While they may look like they're just visiting from the Antarctic, this species of penguin is only found on Africa's southwestern coast. Adults can stand up to 28 inches tall and weigh up to 8 pounds. It's sometimes called the jackass penguin due to the donkey-like noise it makes. A distinctive feature is the pink gland that's located over their eyes. It helps the birds adjust to changing temperatures. African penguins have formed colonies across 24 islands in the region, between Algoa Bay and Namibia. One colony, Boulder's Beach, is a popular tourist attraction, not only for its beach and swimming, but because the penguins there will allow people to get as close as three feet to them. This penguin was first described in 1758 by the Swedish zoologist Carl Linnaeus in the 10th edition of his book, Systema Naturae. In 1910, some 1.5 million African penguins existed. By the end of the 20th century, 10% of that population remained. By 2010, the numbers were estimated at 55,000. As of 2013, 
African penguins were listed as an endangered species. African penguins are known as banded penguins, distinguished by the thin black band across the white chest. They also have a series of markings dotting their chests that are thought to be unique to the individual bird, not unlike zebras and their stripes, as you recall. Number six, sea turtles. Also called marine turtles, they're comprised of seven existing species, the largest of which is the leatherback. The leatherback is also the only sea turtle that doesn't have a hard shell. As its name implies, the animal has leathery skin that covers a series of bony plates underneath. Unlike other turtles, sea turtles cannot retract their arms, legs, or heads into the shells. The sea turtle can be found throughout oceans, but only in temperate and warm waters. Sea turtles avoid polar regions. While often found in coral reefs, some species travel the oceans widely. Certain species, like the flatback, are found only on Australia's northern coast. The Kemp's Ridley sea turtle is only found along the eastern coast of the U.S. and in the Gulf of Mexico. One of Earth's most ancient creatures, the origins of this animal have been traced back some 150 million years ago to the late Jurassic. Today, almost all seven species are classified as vulnerable, with the hawksbill and Kemp's Ridley turtles listed as critically endangered. Threats to sea turtle populations include poaching for their shell, meat, and eggs, climate change, and accidentally drowning when caught in fishing nets. Male sea turtles spend their entire lives in the water, but every two to five years, for several times each season, females come ashore to lay eggs, producing up to 180 eggs per clutch. The sex of the hatchling is determined by the temperature in the nest. Warmer temperatures produce females, while males are produced by nests that are cooler. Number five, chameleons. Best known for their ability to change color and blend into their surroundings, chameleons belong to a distinctive branch of old world lizards, of which there are 202 species. The many different species are found in a variety of colors and are distinguished by their flicking tongues and horns or crests on their snouts and brows. Maybe you have one for a pet. Madagascar is home to nearly half of all chameleon species existing today. Various species are also found in sub-Saharan Africa, Europe, and India, among other locations. They typically live in bushes or trees in all varieties of mountain and tropical rainforests, savannas, and even deserts. Fossils have been discovered in Europe, Asia, and Africa, making it likely chameleons were more widespread at one time than they are now. Certain species of chameleons today are considered endangered, with deforestation and pollution among the reasons why. Among all reptiles, chameleons are thought to have the most distinctive eyes, each of which can focus and pivot independently. The ability to see two separate objects at the same time enables them to see 360 degrees around their bodies. Number four, black widow. Black widow spiders belong to a genus that includes 31 recognized species and can be found worldwide. Some of the more familiar species are the North American black widow and the Australian redback. While there are variances in size, the females are usually darkly colored and can be identified by the reddish markings on their abdomen that resembles an hourglass. Spiders are thought to have crawled the earth since the Carboniferous period, some 300 million years ago. Black widow's venom is believed to be 15 times more powerful than a rattlesnake's leading many to consider it the most venomous spider in North America. Fatalities, however, are rare. The red hourglass marking found on the abdomens of female black widows aren't there just because it looks cool. The markings are thought to have evolved as a way to warn off predators, birds in particular. Number three, bees. Related to wasps and ants, there are some 20,000 known species of these flying insects. The best known might be the European honeybee, which produces beeswax and honey. Found all over the world, wherever there are flowering plants pollinated by insects. The only continent you cannot find bees? That would be Antarctica. Bees can live in colonies consisting of workers, drones, and the queen. The most advanced colonies usually belong to bumblebees and honeybees. A bee fossil was found in Myanmar that dated from the early Cretaceous period, around 145 to 66 million years ago. The largest species of bee existing today is thought to be the Indonesian resin bee, about one and a half inches long. The smallest might be the dwarf stingless bee, measuring under two millimeters long. 
Humans have practiced beekeeping as long as 15,000 years ago, when the first efforts were made to collect honey from wild bees. Jars of honey were discovered in tombs of pharaohs, including that of King Tutankhamun's. Number two, ants. While ants are considered a pest, these insects display remarkable intelligence and strength. Ants can lift 20 times their own body weight. That's like a seven-year-old child picking up a car. Some of the better-known species include carpenter ants and fire ants, which are aggressive and can deliver a painful sting. Ants have established colonies on almost every continent on Earth. It's thought that ants have been so successful in so many environments because of their abilities to tap resources, modify habitats, and defend themselves. Ants are thought to have evolved some 99 million years ago in the Cretaceous period from wasp-like ancestors. Like bees, ants live in colonies that can occupy vast territories and contain millions of individuals. Colonies usually include queens, male drones, and female soldiers or workers. Within this system, ants have shown a remarkable ability to solve complex problems. Their colonies are often referred to as superorganisms, since the ants seemingly work together as a unified entity. Number one. Jumping spiders. Since we started with the elephant, let's end with a creature that's just a bit smaller, the jumping spider. Comprising around 13% of all species, this is the largest family of spiders with over 5,000 species described. As the name suggests, jumping spiders are indeed good at jumping, especially when hunting. But they can also jump to cover a long gap or when responding to sudden threats. And while these spiders don't tend to favor cartoon characters, this particular jumping spider looks a bit like one of those minions, doesn't it? Jumping spiders seem to jump around quite a bit where their habitat is concerned. Most species favor tropical forests, but they can also be found in deserts, scrublands, temperate forests, and mountain regions. Jumping spiders can easily be recognized by their eye pattern. All species possess four pairs of eyes, or eight eyes to go along with their eight legs. Those eight legs must have a lot of spring in their step,